Okay, so this is my work table. You can see Fenrir box, a screwdriver box, a wrench, two pliers and hammer, an extension board, and even the Amazon packet is lying around. I mean, it's, it's such a world's most cluttered work desk. And there's even a book, the Lean Startup book, which I haven't read fully. So I have to fix this. So let's do it. Well, this is not the final thing. What I did, I removed the filament box and reduced that stuff and put it somewhere else. And these are the stuff that I mostly use for my projects or for my 3D printing projects. And you can see these are drill bit, cutter, the nozzles and the super glue, this screwdriver bit set, which is like the most important thing of all of these tools. But you know, the final solution is not this. So in order to find the proper storage solution, I opened the magical software called Fusion 360. And I started designing, I come up with something this model, you know, the base plate, the grid system, 15 to 7 millimeter, and then there's modular storage boxes, which you can put up on this base plate. Well, this is uh, just a prototype. I was just checking whether it's gonna work or not, and it's work, but you know, it's too much like those square rectangles are very small. So because of that, there's not enough support in order to hold these modular storage boxes until unless it is like, like 50 millimeter longer. So I just went online and started finding what could be the better storage solution. And I came across the grid Finity. Well, if you don't know what is grid Finity, grid Finity is an open source modular storage system for your tools spare part and many other things and this is how it works so there's a base plate which is divided into 42 into 42 millimeter square with a z shaped socket on which you can put these modular storage boxes without any resistance or problem and you can design your own storage boxes or you can download them from the tanks because tanks have like whole category page like gridfinity page from on which the creator or across all across the globe upload their design for free and you can download those and as you know gridfinity is open source so you can download the 3d file in fusion 360 i have given the link in the description and you can edit according to yourself isn't this amazing and this project was started by the the gentleman known as zach friedman who has his own kind of big channel so you don't really need my shout out How efficient this grid finity system is you can see this the screwdriver folder like all the bits are in open all the sockets are in open and the screwdrivers are in open so i don't have to open any box and choose from that narrow space which one i have to take out and it is super tight in order to take out these bits from those uh, those holder in the boxes so with grid finity i can easily take out any bit i want to because all in it is in open and then i can or I can take out the whole box and if I, if I have to take like a whole bunch of, of bunch of bits and then what I can do, I can take out one of the bit, put it on my scrap and you're good to go. So you don't have to do, there's no hassle in it and you can easily put it back. And just to give you a glimpse how, how efficient this is, you, you can see this box is kind of bigger. Now, this 5 into 4 grid can store like two of these boxes in it. So you can see this is very efficient. And one of the also one of the best feature of Gridfinity is the vertical storage system. So what you can do if you're creating your own storage box, what you can do, you can cut this Z shaped socket on top of those modular boxes and put one modular box upon another so you can increase your vertical space. It's work best for the nuts and bolts if something is not coming out of those boxes. So you can try this thing also. Well, I don't need that, so I didn't try, but you can try.